If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden video. And today, guys, we've got some new information that has come out. EA put out the top 10 rookies for Madden 17. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at their ratings, and we're going to be kind of comparing and contrasting some of the things that we see between them. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you do at any point, be sure to drop the like on it, give it a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And with that said, guys, Let's hop right into it. We're going to start off at the bottom. First of all, DeForest Buckner. Now, this is number 10 on the list, uh, 78 overall. There's actually quite a few guys on here that are 78 overall. Now, Buckner is a big, big dude, 6'7", 291 pounds. So he is one of the big, beastly defensive ends, not necessarily a pass rusher, more of a run support guy. And that's why he's got an 86 for tackling and 87 for power move or an 87 for hit power, excuse me, an 83 for power move, an 82 for block shed, and an 84 for pursuit. So that's a pretty nice rating set right there for a rookie defensive end. Again, guys, not a pass rusher here, so we're not going to see speed. We're not going to see finesse move, things like that. Those ratings are probably not too spectacular for him. And by the way, guys, each one of these players that we're going to be taking a look at today, we're going to see five attributes for. That's all they've released so far that I'm aware of. So uh, we're just going to look at what we have. I mean, that's all we can do at this point. So again, guys, these are the ratings for DeForest Buckner. Now let's move on to the next player. This is going to be on the offensive side of the ball. And we've got Hunter Henry of the San Diego Chargers. Chargers, a tight end. Now, this is a guy. This is a guy who is expected to be kind of the tight end of the future for this team. 84 speed, 89 acceleration, 80 for agility, 82 for jump, and an 80 for catching. So a very balanced tight end. Solid speed, really good acceleration for a rookie tight end that's only 78 overall. I mean, we could see this card or this guy get some really nice cards in Madden, so that should be pretty nice as long as he has a couple of decent games throughout the year. The only thing is, is that Antonio Gates is still there, so chances are that he's probably not going to have too many chances to have big games unless, of course, Antonio Gates suffers more injuries like he did in previous years. But uh, for now, I think Hunter Henry actually looks like he could be a solid tight end too. And what's going to be nice is that the, the Chargers actually have some decent receivers with uh, Travis Benjamin joining the team. And of course, they've still got Keenan Allen with Gates there. All kinds of different weapons there. Stevie Johnson's still there as well. So, I mean, these guys have some decent weapons. This could be a decent sneaky offense here in Madden 17. So uh, definitely take a look at that offense when you're starting off with your new teams for this season. Next on the list, guys, we're going to take a look at the Cleveland Browns, and this is wide receiver Corey Coleman. Now, Corey Coleman is a guy that a lot of people are expecting to have some really nice uh, opportunities to potentially do something in the fantasy world. I, you guys know me. I'm, I'm kind of focused on the fantasy world. So if I bring that up too often, I apologize. But it's just kind of the way that I look at things. But 78 overall for Corey Coleman, 93 speed, 93 acceleration. That is really, really nice really really nice for a guy that's a rookie now obviously there are going to be players that are faster with better acceleration and things like that but the fact that all five of his attributes here in agility jump spectacular catch all of them are a 90 or above that is an awesome start for Corey, Corey Coleman and I really think you could make a case that this might be the most impressive of all of the rookie cards that we're going to take a look at today and if I call them cards by the way guys it's just because I'm used to mutt obviously these are not for for mutt these are just the standard cards in the or the standard players in the game again i called it cards uh standard players in the game so when you're just playing with uh standard head-to-head -head teams so just keep that in mind guys as we continue on here but again Corey coleman looking pretty darn good i i definitely like this one i think that he could certainly be a player that you look at in fantasy drafts if you do like a dynasty or a franchise mode uh things like that so if if you're interested in a, a young rookie wide receiver this is definitely one to look at Next on the list, guys, we have Laramie Tunzel, left guard for the Miami Dolphins. Again, 78 overall, 81 run block, 84 for a pass block. So he's definitely a better pass blocker than a run blocker. 88 for strength, though, is really, really nice. Impact block being an 83 is solid. 65 for speed, nothing spectacular there. But again, 
Uh, both of his ratings being in the 80s for a run block and a pass block to start the season. Not too bad for a rookie. Definitely got to say it's not too bad. And when you look at the strength as well, you guys know that those are the three attributes that I usually look at when I'm looking for my offensive linemen. So uh, I think this guy is actually pretty solid. Again, man, not too bad. Not really anything that he's terrible in. The run blocking could be better, especially considering he's an interior offensive lineman, but it's not too bad. So let's move on now to another offensive lineman. This is Jack Conklin of the Tennessee Titans. Kind of interesting because he was actually ranked lower on the EA Sports thing when they put that out, the little blog. He was ranked number seven despite the fact that his overall rating was higher than some of the other players. It's that anti-Titans bias, I tell you, man. I, I don't know what it is, but they, they do it all the time to these guys. Uh, but continuing on here, guys, we do have an 84 for a run block, an 81 for a pass block, 84 for strength, 81 for an impact block, and a 72 for a speed. So just like the Laramie Tunzel in the last one, not a bad item, but definitely not anything spectacular. He's a little bit quicker than Tunzel was. He does play on the outside, so you would expect that. But uh, again, his strength, I think, is the one thing that I would look at here and say it's a little bit low. An 84 just isn't that great. And he, when he's going to be going up against like the likes of J.J. Watt on the outside, he could certainly have some problems in that in that area. So, uh, you know, something to look at. But, you know, not horrible for a rookie item again. Uh, definitely one of the lower ones as far as like excitement value though. So uh, let's move on to another guy who is a little bit more exciting. This is a guy who a lot of people expected to potentially be the number one overall draft pick this year. And that's Joey Boza. Now, Joey Boza is an, a 79 overall, but it's kind of interesting because he's actually the second Chargers player. Again, we saw Henry before, who is uh, in the top 10 among rookies. So, I mean, hey, EA is saying that these guys had an amazing draft. We'll, we'll see if it plays out like that on the field. But Joey Bosa has some nice attributes. An 84 for a finesse move, an 80 for a power move. It's an 80 for a speed and an 82 for a block shed with an 84 pursuit. Nothing like amazing, but definitely good balance here. Uh, definitely a guy that can do well against both the run and the pass, I think. We would like to see a guy like this have a little bit better speed, but I guess he's not really known for that. It'll be interesting to see what his strength is because I actually think that his strength attribute could be one that kind of puts him over the edge and makes him kind of a better player than what these base attributes look like. But for right now, we do know he's a 79 overall. Again, left defensive end, uh, and he's not really necessarily going to be one of those guys right away that becomes an elite pass rusher based on these attributes at least. I mean, the 80 speed's a little bit low. We'd have to see again what his strength and maybe even his acceleration looks like. But for right now, this is a decent item. I, I think that we could see better cards from him in Mutt throughout the year. So hopefully uh, we'll get some upgraded Bosa cards throughout the year. Moving on now to one that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in or disappointed in, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and this is actually a kicker. It's Roberto Aguayo. And I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. I've never heard of this guy, to be completely honest with you. Kickers really aren't on my radar, to be completely honest with you. But I will say 92 for a kick power, 94 for a kick accuracy. This is something that we actually need to pay attention to as well, guys. It's important this year, apparently, that you have good kick accuracy. Apparently, it's not just based on your user input. Supposedly, it, your actual kick accuracy does matter this year. So that's something that's actually pretty important here. And a 94 is pretty damn good for a rookie kicker. Now, a couple of things that is interesting that I see here on the screen. Obviously, the 74 speed, that's actually pretty high for a kicker, I think. It's not blazing by any means, but pretty decently quick. The, the 40 for a tackling, I mean, you expect that out of a kicker. I mean, it's almost there as like a comedy thing at this point. Now, the SAC, I believe, is short accuracy. I believe that's short throw accuracy. So 35 for a short throw accuracy. I've heard that there are some decent fakes this year as far as like fake kicks and things like that. So that could potentially come into play at some point. The 35 is a very, very low attribute. But again, I don't know for sure that SAC stands for short throw accuracy. I think that it does, but I'm not 100% sure. So you guys will have to let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't think it stands for that, let me know what you think it stands for because I don't think we have verification one way or another on that so far this year. Moving on now to 
One of the final ones here. This is Ron, Ronnie Stanley, excuse me, left tackle for the Baltimore Ravens. They're expecting this guy to be an absolute beast for them and pretty much kind of be the guy that revamps their offensive line, gets them back into being a power running first offense. And I'll tell you this, man, his attributes look pretty good. The only thing that I'm concerned about is 82 for a strength. That is not good. He does have great pass blocking attributes, though. Uh, the 86 for a pass block should be pretty good. 66 for a speed, I'm not really overly concerned about that. 83 for an impact block, decent enough. 83 for a run block is a little bit low, but again, the 86 for a pass block is one of the better attributes that I think you're going to find. I, I bet it's probably the highest among any of the rookie left tackles in this game or any of the tackles, probably probably any of the offensive linemen among the rookies. So uh, definitely a good way to start things off as far as your attributes go. But the lack of strength is certainly something to look at. I don't know if he had like a bad bench rep situation or something at the combine. But again, that's a really low attribute, even for a rookie. I think that's the low among any of the other guys that we've seen here as far as the offensive linemen go. So now let's move on to the top two. These guys are the ones that kind of stand far and away above everybody else and uh, really kind of are the spectacular guys that everyone's excited about. And starting things off here at number two, We've got the guy that I'm most excited about, and I think a lot of you are going to be most excited about, especially from a fantasy standpoint. I'm a Cowboys fan, so this one works for me, even not from a fantasy standpoint. But Ezekiel Elliott, man, 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 91 agility, 86 carrying, and 91 ball carrier vision. He's an 80 overall, so that is a full attribute higher than any of the other guys that we've seen so far on this video. I mean, guys, this guy is expected to be a, a potential top 10 fantasy draft pick this year uh, overall. And I mean, from everything that I've heard from Ryan915, who's a huge Ohio State fan, I mean, this guy is, is among the best rookie running backs that we've seen in years. So I'm very, very excited as a Cowboys fan, and I think it's going to be fun to use him in Madden. I love the fact that he's using a 21 for a jersey number. I mean, Deion Sanders used to wear the 21 for the Cowboys, and, you know, that's obviously one of my favorite players of all time. So it's cool to see that jersey coming back into play here with a player that I can potentially get behind and get really excited about. Hopefully he wins the starting job in Dallas this year, but even if he doesn't, I think he's going to get some decent playing time and he should be a really fun card to use here in Madden. So last but not least, guys, we're moving on to the final one. And this one is one that stands way out in, the, in front of everybody else. I think with an 82 overall, he is two full attributes higher than any of the other rookies and that is Jalen Ramsey look at these attributes guys very very nice for a rookie 93 speed with a 94 acceleration that is an awesome set of just speed attributes to start things off 90 for agility this year in Madden 16 we saw that agility really became a very important part of the game or at least it kind of became more exposed as being an important part of the game. And then he's still got an 85 for a man coverage and an 84 for his zone coverage. So a very, very balanced cornerback here to start your team if you're a Jacksonville Jaguars fan. This is a guy that I think you can be excited about. And we all know that this year in Madden 16, we saw so much being kind of focused on the, the wide receivers. And supposedly, from what I've heard, the cornerbacks are getting a boost next year in Madden 17 so it should be interesting to see what happens and hopefully we can use a guy like Jalen Ramsey to potentially shut down some of these Odell Beckham aggressive type catches here in Madden 17. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Guys, I'm going to try to bring you guys some more Madden content here over the coming days and weeks, so be on the lookout for that. We've got Madden 17 coming out here in about a month, man. I can't believe it's coming up this quick, but I'm excited for it. Hope you guys are as well. Let me know in the comments section below which one of these rookie players are you most excited to play with on your team. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys again soon.